paint job. Hey, it's very nice. How did you talk supply out of the paint? Oh, I didn't tell him it was for the motor pool. I said we need enough paint for 157 games of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> I'm worried about McGuire. That's the third time this week she's goofed. I think she's accident prone. Oh, come on, Ann. Just because some things happen doesn't make a person accident prone. And it's silly to do it. Come on, come on. <laughs> Want a <to> bet? <laughs> chef to sleep on a cement slab? I told you I want the softest mattress on Ranica. No, 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 no sir. Uh, th th this isn't the one. You, you see, I, I combed the entire base, and I finally found a 4.0 dandy at the hospital. Where is it, then? Well, it, it'll be right along, sir. Uh, just as soon as the doctor finds another place to put the patient. Excuses, excuses, excuses. I want everything to be absolutely perfect. Stanley Stubbs had better not choose any other base than Ranikai. Sir, I, I don't understand. Do, do you mean that this fella has a, a choice of, of any base that he picks? I, 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 I mean, I, I thought that he was just a, a ship's cook. Uh, cook, cook, cook. Would you call da Vinci a, a house painter? Would you say that Michelangelo was just a bricklayer? Stanley Stubbs is one of the immortals of the culinary art. Oh, me no, sir. And he'll be able to whip you up a lot of goodies, just like your mother used to make. I certainly hope not. My mother was a horrible cook. <laughs> Stanley Stubbs is the youngest graduate of the Cordon Bleu in Paris. <laughs> My taste buds are all in the dither, sir. Uh, you're right. And since the war started, he's been Admiral for size, personal charm. <laughs> Sir, uh, the, the thing that I don't understand uh, is why the Admiral didn't take him along with him to Washington when he was transferred. Eh? Elementary, my dear Beasley. Admiral Forsyth is a career man. If you want to get ahead in the Navy, you don't have a better chef than the President. <laughs> <laughs> What's that fan doing here? I told you I wanted complete air conditioning. But the fan, you see, sir, the fan is only a temporary. Yeah, uh, you see, all the air conditioning units on the base went to Task Force 9 for the engine room. There is that war again. <laughs> that task force lolling about in air-conditioned combat <laughs> while my chef swelters. No, 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 no sir. You see, he's going to be cool as a cuke. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, you see, I had them rev up the engine so that he's going to have just a nice, cool breeze. Oh, that's nice. Yes. This is plain. This is H. Hour, Beasley. Yes, uh, sir. Uh, thank you, Beasley. Uh, sir. 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 Uh, 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 maybe, uh, maybe you should have brought the Marine Band. No, Beasley, we must not appear too eager. I think the red carpet in front of his quarters is quite enough. Now, uh, you open the... Uh, Well, welcome to Ranakai. I don't like it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Please. You're ruffling the fabric. Oh, I, I'm sorry, sir. I, I mean Stanley. Uh, Mr. Stubbs. Uh, you, you, you're just going to love it here, Mr. Stubbs. I, I mean, Commander Adrian has, has made this a, a tropical paradise. <laughs> Who's the clown? Mosquito! 
That's all, brother. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not a, a mosquito, Stanley. No, they're off limits on Ranakai. <laughs> Lure that mosquito away. Let it bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Be reasonable, maestro. I was assured that you would give me a week's trial by Admiral Forsyth. Name dropper. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you exactly 24 hours, which will seem like a month in this slum. Oh, that is very gracious of you. Now I will show you to your quarters and the pièce de résistance, your very own customized kitchen. <laughs> You know something? You got a real nut on your hands there. <laughs> well, uh, my car is right this way. Here's the car. Wait a minute. You call this stack a scrap of car? <laughs> well, it hasn't been modified or nothing. I bet it doesn't even have racing cams. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Stanley, I didn't know you were a sports car buff. Sports car? That's for squares. I am a hot rod man. <laughs> Why, back home, I built all my own bombs ever since grammar school. Good. Then this shall be your home away from home. I'll convert our motor pool into a hobby shop for you. Well, now, wait a minute, Commander. Let us not be too pushy, shall we? <laughs> Remember, I haven't taken a job yet. I'm still auditioning you. I understand. Well, come on, let's go. Yeah, I'll drive. <laughs> What a drag! I couldn't even get a pass 60 in second. <laughs> well, why don't you come inside? I, I have a little something for you. Here we are. Now then, to a master chef from the master himself. A son of a scoffier done in hand tool leather. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, it was nothing. That's exactly what I mean. I know this bum by heart. <laughs> Pretty nice looking pad you got here. Well, thank you. Thank you. You'll be... Uh, you'll be delighted to know that I've gone to a great deal of effort to make your quarters a thing of beauty. Oh, thank you. I'm sure I'll be very comfortable here. <laughs> These aren't yours. I, I, what I mean is I prepared other quarters for you. I like it here. <laughs> These are mine. Well, are the ones you got for me as nice? Well, you... Yeah, uh, yes, matter of fact, they are. They're, they're really quite... Uh, they're nicer. Yours have a southern exposure. You see, these have an eastern exposure, and in the morning, the sun comes up at a ridiculous hour. No, fair exchange. We trade even, right? <laughs> now, now, look here. Have I ever told you about the time I prepared the Three Kings dinner for the Joint Chiefs of Staff? No. Uh, it started with consummate of a lie, a la royale. Followed by Barquettes de Huitre a la Normandy. <laughs> then Darns de Saumon a la Bernays. And the masterpiece, Cell d'Agno au lait de Bresse. Have you ever eaten a bomb glacé made with flaming slivervitz? <laughs> hmm? Commander. Commander Adrian, where'd you go? Just to get my pajamas and toothbrush, Stan. McGuire. Um, about that uh, jeep you were working on today. What did I do wrong now? Oh, well, it's just that I'd like you to be a little more careful. There was a short in the horn wire. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's nothing serious. Just that every time I went around a corner, the horn started honking. And among certain enlisted men, I'm now known as the Flirt of Ranicott. <laughs> Smell something burning. My daughter Reeves! Oh, no! I thought I turned the iron off! Oh, Selma, I'm so sorry. The skipper's right. I'm accident prone. Well, it's okay, Molly. As long as I stay prone, you'll never notice it. Hey, guess what? Commander Adrian's got a new chef. I heard he was expecting. Yeah, Adrian sent a plane all the way to Australia to fly him in. They say he's a real character by the name of Stanley Stubbs. Stanley Stubbs? A little guy kind of scrawny, wears glasses, got a squeaky voice? 
Yeah, that's right. Where'd you know him from? We went to high school together. He was the only boy in my cooking class. <laughs> <laughs> cooking class? That's some kind of boy. Oh, don't knock it, Molly. He took off from there and became a famous chef. Well, looks like you're going to be dating a celebrity. Oh, no. Not me. I fought him off all through high school. He even tried the blind date bit, but I wasn't that blind. We used to call him the drag of the drag strip. Drag strip? What kind of a dance is that? <laughs> it's not a dance, Roberta. It's a place where they race hot rods. Stanley was always a nut about hopped up cars. Hey, does he know you're in the ways? How could he? Last time I saw him was the last day of school. <laughs> the kids got to horsing around in cooking class, and Stanley accidentally hit me in the face with a pan of flour. That's how he said goodbye to me. <laughs> Which gives me my thought for the day. That's how I'll say hello to him. <laughs> Want to come along for the, uh, accident? Sure. <laughs> Don't you think you should take off your bars? I don't think dousing Stanley can be considered fraternizing with an enlisted man. The hour's running. We've got to work fast. Everything's in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Battle stations. <laughs> Confess to the whole thing. Have you told her to report to me immediately? Uh, she's on her way over here, what sir. What I don't understand is why did they do a thing like Why would they do that to me, Trotter? I've, I have been like a father to those girls. <laughs> tell me, Trotter, do I deserve to be treated like that? You can tell me the truth. Do I? Yes. Who asked you? Why, why shouldn't I be calm and, and collected instead of all, the, all this aggravation? I, I should be quietly preparing myself for a sumptuous breakfast. I wonder what Stanley's coming up with this morning. I wonder what Stanley is... Coming up with this morning. <laughs> Perhaps some eggs Louis or eggs Benedict, slightly crisped around the edges. Or if we are exceedingly lucky, perhaps kidneys with eggs Belgrade, just a touch of bitters. <laughs> come in, come in, Stanley. Hey, where am I supposed to get breakfast around here? <laughs> Nobody arranged for me to get into the mess hall, you know. If you're trying to impress me, buddy, you sure blew it. But I thought you thought you thought. Put me on the next flight, Mac. I'm leaving. Stanley. Would you, Stanley. Stanley. Selma. Selma Kowalski. Uh, hi, Stanley. Oh, I didn't know you were away. What are you doing here? I'm stationed here. No kidding, you walk up around a car fast? <laughs> you, uh, you two know each other. Oh, we went to high school together. I always had a crush on Selma. Come on, gorgeous. Let's go get some breakfast or something. I can't, Stanley. I have to report to Commander Adrian. Report? Don't be about that little... It's a, a, just a misunderstanding. Could have happened to anyone. You two children run along. R run along. <laughs> Thank uh, you, sir. Gorgeous. We got a lot to catch up on. Uh, you were saying about the waves, sir. Oh, I bless every one of their little brass buttons. <laughs> Take a full pour. I'm so sorry. Oh, now, don't start crying, Molly. There are just some people that all of a sudden little accidents start happening to. But I've been trying to be so careful with everything. Well, I know you have. And the harder you try, the more the accidents happen. Now, look, I want you to take the rest of the morning off and just, just relax. Go water the lawn or uh, read a book or something. And just go and... Try to forget about everything, okay? Okay, Lieutenant. Thank you. I won't have to have my oil changed for another 5,000 miles.
minute that you set your high heels down on this island, you have done nothing but step on my toes. Oh, Mr. You are supposed to be at attention, Lieutenant. And I, I mean, how would it look on my war record? Drowned on dry land. It was all my fault, sir. It was the Navy's fault for sending all of you here. I... Stanley. How are you enjoying your stay on our little island paradise? Eh, what is it, a pile of sand? But I sure enjoy being with Selma again. Hey, uh, what's with the wet threads? Boy, you're a mess. You better go change, because when you sit down to my dinner tonight, I want you in full dress uniform. You are going to cook dinner for me? The Three Kings dinner for one. The Three Kings dinner for me? Now, now, now wait a minute. Now, let's not get sloppy about this. Selma talked me into it. She did, the dear child. Oh, sir, I'm just the machinist mate. Oh. Oh, you must be Lieutenant Morgan. How do you do? I'm Stanley. Oh, that's all right, girls. You don't have to stand at attention for me. <laughs> Navy procedure, Stanley. We're always at attention when the commander has us on the carpet. You got a beef against my girls? Stanley, <laughs> whatever gave you that idea? No, Lieutenant, tell Stanley that you're not on the carpet. I don't know about the carpet, sir, but it looks like Stanley just pulled the rug out from under you. <laughs> those girls are always saying those funny things. Now, why don't all of you children run down to the PX and have fun? Hey, that sounds like a good idea. Come on, kids, let's go. We'll put it all on your tab. <laughs> Commander, is his cookie really that good? Lieutenant, he is so good that even the indigestion is a gourmet's delight. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, look at... Nom, nom, nom. I'll bet now even my eyebrows taste delicious. S-S, <laughs> S-S. Is that your monogram on all the pots? No, it stands for sterling silver. Of course it's my monogram. Those pots were presented to me personally by Admiral Forsyth. He really appreciated me. And I might add that Admiral Forsyth was a man of impeccable taste. I, I think of myself as a bit of a gourmet. I, I brought along this wine to have with our salmon. It's, it's a rosé, 1936, very good year. Peasant! Huh? This slop with my food! Peasant? How dare you! A rosé with salmon Amandine! What am I dealing with here, a wino? <laughs> Listen here. You can't talk to Commander Adrian that way. Can he, Commander? Commander? You can. You can. Stay down. Don't worry about me. Save the floor. Don't tell me anything about enemy attack. Look at all my beautiful pots of bed. First thing in the morning, I'm leaving. <laughs> and if Stanley leaves Ranakai tomorrow morning, I guarantee you that you will all be on a boat tomorrow night. Now, I don't care what you do to keep him here. Even if Kowalski has to marry him. That's the first proposal I've had since I've been here. If you have to marry him, it'll all be my fault. Oh, relax, McGuire. Selma's not going to marry anybody. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Look, didn't you say that Stanley was just nuts about hopped up cars? Sure, why? I don't know whether it'll work, but I just got a wild idea. Huddle time. Listen to me. Said 
I, I, I will give you my quarters for your very own. I'll give you an immediate promotion. Stanley, I'll buy you a whole new set of pots and pans. Just think about it, I beg you. All I can think about is that shootout in my kitchen. But that was not the enemy, that was the wave. Wave schmaves. As soon as I say goodbye to Selma, I'm blowing this Sam pile. <laughs> Never mind that baby talk. Stanley is leaving. Oh, I Stanley, just... you're not going to leave until you see the surprise that Commander Adrian ordered for you, are you? Surprise? What surprise has he got this time? A live hand grenade? Oh, you're wrong about Commander Adrian. He's really a very generous, considerate, thoughtful man. I am? Oh, yeah, yes, I am. Close your eyes, Stanley, and I'll take you to it. Kid games. <laughs> Mine? Yes, Commander Adrian wanted you to have it. I did? I, I did. I, I do. A battleship round so she'll accelerate from zero to 80 in 100 yards. No kidding. What do you think of Ranakai now? Who cares? I'll drive this bomb so fast it'll just be a blur. Come on, Selma, let's go for a ride. Yeah, careful now. Four point oh, Lieutenant. In other words, peachy. Well, now that's straightened out. Uh, there was something else straightened out, too. What? Molly, do you realize that without thinking about it, you worked all night with no accident? Hey, that's right, I did. <laughs> Lieutenant. Uh, what is it, Botnik? Well, while I was working on the brake lines, I kept watching Molly to make sure she didn't goof up, and now I don't remember whether I tightened them or not. <laughs> If Stanley is so much as scratched, I will charge you with first-degree murder. No, we better go after him. Come on. Murder? Why, she really handles like a dream. Open her up. Sammy, are you all right? Well, sure, I'm fine. Okay, well, can you get up? Who wants to? It's the first chance I ever had to hold Selma in my arms. <laughs> uh, thanks for inviting me for lunch, Commander. It's 15 minutes late. Uh, but but I, I'm, I'm sure it's uh, worth waiting. For. Well, you better know it. Moravian beef with sauce poulet. I saw Stanley preparing it. You know, what Rembrandt could do with paint, he does with chicken livers. <laughs> let's, let's see what's delaying him, eh? <laughs> oh, some other time, fella. It's too good for you. I decided to eat it myself. <laughs> 